Hello, it is Saturday. It is Saturday. It is 5.06. I'm on the way to pick Maddie up. I just thought I'd show you my view sitting in traffic. It's been like off and on raining, not like sprinkling all day. It's been a good day and it's been kind of chilly. It's been kind of chilly. I hope that you guys are having a good day and I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. Look at the Christmas trees. It's not even past um, Halloween. Look at them. Oh, ooh, I like these lights. Yeah, this is a flocked tree. What? It's a what tree? Flocked. That's what it's called when it's when it's this stuff. It's called flocking. I like that. I really like that. Here's an important question. Do you guys do white lights or do you do multicolor lights? White lights or multicolored? Burning question. I need to know. Look, they're they're pushing it, guys. They are pushing it. Because you see how many rows of Christmas? Okay, we're home. We're home. I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and get a lot of stuff for the haunted house. But the one thing that I want to get is a skeleton. And then I'm going to make a dead body, guys. I'm going to make a dead body. Um, yeah, I want to take like a mask. I'm going to get a mask and use some of my old clothes, like my old jeans and old shirts. And I'm going to make a dead body and put it in the haunted house. Uh, I guess you could stuff it with like old clothes. And I want to buy just a cheap mask so I can set it out and look like a dead person with blood. We're heading home now. It is sprinkling. And it feels really good, but it was kind of chilly today. Yeah, Maddie doesn't feel that good. And I just feel like, bleh, probably because of the weather. I don't know. But I think we're just going to hang out. I know I was going to take the girls. I was going to do another sleepover tonight, but we're just not. We're just not. I made that chicken and pasta dish in the crock pot yesterday. So that's ready to go when I get home. And that's going to be it. We're going to watch the scary stories. Snarled is what it's called. We are addicted. We'll sit down we'll, right before we go to bed. Right before we go to bed, we watch about 30, 40 minutes. Um, but it's been fun. It's been fun. Replace our Stranger Things uh, marathon that we had. Uh, but anyway, my hair is literally... <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to go home and then I'll catch back up with you at the house. We're home. My house is a mess. I know you see it. I'm not even going to talk about it. Right there in plain sight. Anyway. Yeah, I've got to clean up. It is... <gasps> it's a mess. This is what happens when you work 50 hours. It's disgusting. I'm going to time myself. 20 minutes. I should be able to knock this crap out. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I actually, there was a trash bag tied to my Walmart shopping cart that I stole. I did. I started walking through Walmart. I didn't have a cart because I was just going to get the cat litter and the milk. And then, you know, I'm like, oh, I need this. I need this. And then I saw a shopping cart that was just sitting there. And it was from an employee. But there were two of them. Two shopping carts together. Like they were going to return the stuff from other people. So I just moved over the stuff into the other shopping cart and took the shopping cart. And attached to the shopping cart was a trash bag. I don't want to... So I took the trash bag, I brought it home, because <laughs> I was like, I can use this. I don't know. Anyway, just a random fact. And then Maddie was like, oh, you shouldn't take the shopping cart. But I was like, Maddie, it doesn't really belong to someone shopping. Anyway, I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, that I stole a shopping cart, and Maddie was an accomplice, and we stole a trash bag. So, in the comments, what is that? What am I pointing to that I said I wouldn't buy? What is it? I know some of you know. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. 20 minutes. This is as clean as it gets. I cleaned off my table. Cleaned off the stove. Cleaned everything. Swept. Dishes. Um, yeah, everything is put away and cleaned up. I feel good about it. I got my candle warmer going because, you know, like when you clean up, you got to like make it smell good. Uh, so everything's straightened up tomorrow. I'm going to get up in the morning, get going, and I'm going to clean my room out. I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. 
I'm going to throw everything out of my closet. I'm going to take all that stuff to the thrift store that's by my house. It's not the Goodwill. It's, um, it's a local, like, thrift store. Not the Goodwill. Uh, but I'm going to take it all up there because that's the one that I used to shop at. Um, yeah, I'm going to take everything out of my closet. Um, and I want to clean out two drawers. And that's basically it. Give it a good vacuum and a dusting. And that's really all I need to do. But you know, once you start, like, cleaning closets out or, like, doing something big like that it makes a bigger mess you know what I'm saying so I have bunch, bunches of trash bags to load all the stuff up that I want to take um, but and then I want to work on my um, haunted house I was supposed to go to my girlfriend's house tonight but I think I already told you I don't feel so good and I just I have to get this stuff done you know even though I would love to go over there but I just don't feel good and I have a list <laughs> um, I paid all my bills Man, that direct deposit looked real nice on Tuesday. <laughs> but the way that I have it, like, all the bills came out this paycheck. Like, 90%. Because I told you, like, I've just been sporadic, you know. And that's not good. So that means next paycheck, I got, like, two bills. So when I sat down and I wrote all my bills out and my income... I've already told you this, I just need to remind myself, um, there's a decent amount that I can save and I'm just not doing it because of my mismanagement. So I think by the 1st of November, I'll have my budget going the way I want it to go and I should have a decent amount by the 1st because it's just... I don't know and I haven't been because I know I've gotten into like where I spend a lot of money like I did one summer I was just blowing it out my butt anyway um, it's not that I'm spending a lot of money like I'm not buying stuff it's just that I'm not paying these dumb bills like when you know I'll pay ahead or I'll be late and the, you know what I mean so anyway I'm excited it just sucks <laughs> because I'm a little tight until next payday, but I have to keep reminding myself that this is for the greater cause, that I will get everything paid, and then it's gonna start, do you know what I mean? And plus, the holidays are coming. I'm excited, I'm excited. They're starting to hire um, a bunch of CCAs, like just for the holidays. And I know someone that is in the process of doing it, however, it's just for the holidays, which I guess if they do good enough or the demand is still high, they would keep them. But when I started this process, you guys were with me. I t I, before I even had the interview, I had to take the personality test. I had to take the postal exam. When the postal exam was memory, you had to memorize like all the Anyway, so I guess for holiday, they didn't have to take the postal exam. Or the personality test, which I had to take two different kinds. They try to trick you, you know, the questions. Didn't have to do any of that. It was just straight up apply, mass interview, now, drug test, fingerprint, blah, blah, blah. Because I started my process in November, and I didn't get on until I remember the day. I will never forget the day. <laughs> January 11th. That's how long it took. Um, anyway, I'm gonna feed my child <laughs> and edit. I am putting the vlog up really late. I am, but I'm gonna I'm gonna edit, feed her, change my clothes. That was the very first CD I ever bought. CC in the Music Factory, and my sister and I went to I think it was called FYI or I can't remember what it was called. And we literally, like, we put in half, each put in money towards this CD. And it was the first CD that we bought. Like, when CDs were like, ooh, ooh CDs. That was the first CD. CC and the Music Factory, Everybody Dance Now. What was your first CD? Or, I know some of you are old enough to have bought your first CD. Um, so, what was your first CD that you ever bought? Because, And I think I might, I might still have it because I have... You, you remember those big things, like binders that you could put your CDs in? You would have to ride around with your little CD binder in your car and, like, put them in. 
<laughs> you didn't have these iTunes or like Bluetooth, nothing like that. But yeah, that's so funny. Every time I hear that song, I remember my sister and I were in the store and she was like, well, I'll pay half if you pay half. And then I was like, well, who's going to hold the CD? Regular coffee. Maddie got a Maddie got a pumpkin coffee with just a little tiny bit of coffee because they couldn't make it any other way. Um, <laughs> she wanted to try it, so... I don't give the child coffee every day. Okay, I don't do that. I know everybody's staring at me. There's people out there looking at me crazy. I look a mess. Look at me. My hair, my pimple. I want to go ahead and start the vlog. My back is killing me. It hurts so bad right now. Oh, and look at this, guys. I found my sunglasses. They were at my best friend's house. I have been looking for these for two oh. weeks. Two weeks. Maddie did tell me she was like, "Mom, they're over at your, at, you know, so and so's house." And I was like, "No, they're not." Um, and they were. They were. So I have them back. These are my. I am official. I am busy. I have to deliver the mail. Don't talk to me. These are my official business glasses. Like I have things to do. Okay. The heart ones are like, "Oh, hey guys, what's up?" And the white ones are like. I'm feeling retro, but this is like, no, I got things to do. I've got to get this done. Okay. Just like today, I got to clean out my closet and I'm doing it. Okay. I'm not even going to, I'm going to go home, feed her breakfast, do the cat litter, sweep the floor. And then it's, that's, it's going in. Good morning guys. All right, guys, I'm sitting out here drinking my coffee and this is a random, random clip. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Foodie Beauty, Chantal Marie, Big Beautiful Me, um, and she eats a lot of poutine. It's, I think it's a Canadian thing. I want to know. I'm an American. Can I make it? And will it taste like a Canadian if an American makes poutine? Is it the same thing? What is it? Is it french fries with gravy on top? I don't know. It's not healthy. I know that, but... I want to make it one day and say that I can make a poutine. 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 I don't know <laughs> how you say it. All right, guys. This is happening. This is my closet. This is my closet. Everything is about to come out. We're making progress. Look, guys. I was just talking about my CD things. And look. I found them on my CDs. I should put this in the car. I had, some, I had some really good music in here. Like old stuff. Like Eagles and Credence Clearwater and Foreigner and Sticks. I'm doing it. I'm going to put it in the car. Look guys, this is a young Meredith about to learn about life's adventures. I was 17 and had just got married. That was my dad. And that's my mom. And that was my ex-husband. We'll cover his face. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was my dad. He was born in 1938 with a form of polio. And at that time, you know, things were different. So he walked with crutches his whole entire life. Um, but yeah, that was my wedding day. Oh, I'm going to put this up because I've been looking for a good picture of me and my dad, even though it's pretty old. But yeah, that was him. Look at these old workout videos. Because a very long time ago, I well, right after I had Maddie, I lost about 50 pounds and I used all these um, workout tapes. That's crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna donate them too. We're still plugging away. I am breaking a sweat. Okay, we're we're getting somewhere. See, I'm finding a lot of things. This was my mom's. She used to wear like moo's and stuff like that. And I took these out of her dresser um, when she had passed. And I have had them sealed. In the hopes of they still smell like her. Do you know what I mean? I've never opened it. I don't know if it would still smell like my mom three years later. I don't know. I found a lot of stuff like that that I have zipped up. And I don't know. I found his uh, Halloween costumes. I used to buy him costumes. <laughs> Henry. Henry. Henry, look at me. Henry. Look at me. Look at me. He gives up. He gives up. Ready, guys? Voila! Voila! 
It's clean. I have my Kate Spade and my Dooney and Burke in here. Um, yeah, it's all cleaned out. All my boots for the winter that I probably won't wear this winter, but that is okay with me. I have most of my uniforms hung up. Uh, they were just sitting folded up like on my chair by my bed, but I figured it was time. I need to buy some hangers. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, and then I got like all my jackets back here. I have a nice bomber jacket, I guess that's what they call. I got that free. I got that vest to go over it or under it to make it thicker. Yeah, I got them all hung up. I've got two pair of like dickies and then just two pair of pants. I have so many pair of shorts, but only two pair of pants, but they're all hung up. I even cleaned out this thing and I've got like, oh, this is all my makeup. This is all my extra makeup. That's crazy. I'll never use it. I have like my um, ski mask and then I got this fuzzy hat for the winter. So I'm ready. I'm ready. I dusted my room. I dusted my room. I even took like a broom and like went around like on the walls and dusted it with a broom. And I vacuumed like 500 times in here and moved stuff around and vacuumed. Um, it's still, I mean, it's clean. Now it's clean. But I need to like um, make my bed. Uh, that's, a, that's the most important part. Um, but I mean, it took me about, I don't know, I was in it for like three hours doing this. Cause I mean this, I still have my shirt on that I slept in and my hair, like it's just been, I don't know. Um, Maddie and I spent a lot of the time after I finished this in her room watching scary stories. A success guys. I feel good. I got rid of, I did not do my hair. Stop looking at me. Don't look at my hair. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go. I love you guys, um, and I will talk to you tomorrow, as always, except for maybe a day or two. As always, I will vlog again tomorrow. Bye, everyone.